Sonoran CMS manages your entire community for free. Learn more at sonorancms.com. Sonoran CMS also provides a website builder, which allows you to customize your community to your liking. To access the website builder, navigate to the add-in panel, then in the community section, click website builder. You will now see that the website builder is broken up into two sections, toolbar customization, which allows you to customize the header dashboard of your community with all of its buttons and menus, and website pages, which allows you to create and customize all the different individual pages within your community's website. We will start by going over the website pages section. You can click the house icon to set a given page as the home page. This will make it the default landing page when someone accesses your community. You can also delete pages with the red trash icon should you so desire. To create a new website page, click the blue button to the left. This will open up the page builder. If you've seen the tutorial on creating custom forms, you should have an idea for the general function of this page, although the elements you'll be adding and editing are different. At the top, you can set the page title, as well as a URL slug, which is whatever you would like to go at the end of the URL. For example, if I put in test and click the page button to copy the page's URL, it will end in slash test. Next to that, you can choose to display this page the way it would be on desktop, tablet, or mobile, and preview how the page will display on a variety of different devices and resolutions. This allows you to develop your website with mobile responsiveness in mind. You can also set it to public or private, and choose to save or cancel any changes. If it's set to private, only the ranks you specify will be able to view it. To begin customizing the page's contents, drag and drop any element in from the left side to add it to your new page. You can drag elements around to wherever on the page you want, and they will display their position and snap to center lines, making positioning easy. You can also unlock an element if you want to move it to another section. Once unlocked, simply drag it to whatever section you'd like, and then relock it. With pages in the Website Builder, there is a hierarchy. Elements are contained within sections. You can add or remove elements from an existing section, swap them to other sections, and both elements and sections have their own separate settings. As an example, let's add an information block. This might be used if you want to display the number of members in your community or in a specific department. If you hover over the info block, you will see a dashed box around it, as well as a larger box encasing it. The small box is the element, and the large box is the section. If you click outside the element box, you can edit the margins and backgrounds of the section itself. To edit an element, click anywhere within its outlined box. Different element types will have different settings fields for you to customize. For example, the info block allows you to select style, data source, and limits for the progress bar. A button, however, will allow you to change the styling as well as set the target link that the button leads to. To add another element to an existing section, drag it anywhere within the bounds of said section. You can drag and drop elements to move them around within a section, or resize them by dragging the corners. There are many other types of elements that you can experiment with yourself. If you know HTML, you can even add your own HTML code to the page. There are a lot of options here, too many to cover in a short tutorial video like this, so feel free to experiment on your own or to check out our documentation, which explains what each element does. When you're done customizing the page to your liking, click the green floppy disk button to save the new page. We'll go more in depth on toolbar customization in another video, so stay tuned for that.